Hey everybody, my name is Michael and welcome back to my digital art painting channel. I want to show you today how I've painted this abstract art painting. It was a request from a user. For that I'm using of course them A brushes. I will show you here quickly which different brushes I've used. You can use of course whatever brush you want of them A brushes. This is an A brush number 10, 6, it's amazing also for lines, straight lines down. You can hold for that the shift key and it will create a line with a texture on it. This is very useful. Now I'm using palette knife number one. It's the first knife and it creates a very smooth cut in our painting. This is knife number two. It has a texture and it starts to get wilder. And for this curved line, I'm using again brush number 106. I will stay with this one. It is very useful here and useful also for those shiny stripes. Now I'm using knife number three. It has a canvas texture and all those knives of the MA brushes, they depend on the pen tilt and whatever knife you are using of the MA brushes, it will depend directly on the direction you're holding your pen. So you can even create a line like with a real palette knife. Now block the whatever color you like on your canvas. It's maybe the magic canvas of the MA brushes. And now you will see me after the blocking how I'm using the knives. Here I'm using directly knife number two from up to down and some from the side to the other side. Look how it creates a beautiful texture like you would paint with a palette knife on a real canvas. You can go always back with some steps if you don't like the outcome. Those knives here will have attached and loaded to them the colors from that place where you have stopped your stroke. So it creates a really nice mixture of colors on your canvas very useful for abstract painting. I can say in a short of time you will create beautiful things. You can bring your abstract art really to life with those brushes here and with the right colors and the right ideas of course. I must admit I haven't recorded that painting perfectly but I am very happy that I have collected enough data to create a short video like this one. I was here just smirching over the last version by using the number one palette knife. I'm doing it very often like that to test around and to shape my final painting step by step. It's a lot of fun for me to experiment and to come to a final result. In art all the ways will lead you to Rome. And that's especially for abstract art the case, especially with the MA brushes and the magic canvas. You have here a great combination for it, a powerful tool in your hands. Do a loose line in the center of the painting with nice little curves. Go back or always till you like it. I really love doing those abstract paintings. They are a lot of fun and they give me a lot of freedom and room to experiment. But I am also following some rules, like having the right colors and the nice forms and shapes of the things I'm painting. So it's not like a absolutely chaos, but it's like a piece of artwork. So at the final piece you will see something that seems to be somehow harmonic so that the watcher feels the art behind it and something that gives a satisfying feeling by watching it. I haven't painted it in the magic canvas. I am copying now and I've pasted it into the magic canvas and I am using here texture number six of the impasta textures. That's the second big group. And you saw me here raising some parts of the textures so it is not too dominant. 
I'm also changing the color balance to see how different variations will look like. I will stay with that green tone here at the lower part of the painting, but I'm changing now the upper part again. I'm marking it and change its color till I like the outcome. I'm using also the history tool now to, to have again a smooth transmission of the colors. Working over different areas with the knives, for example with knife number two, or also very good is knife number four, version three of it. And let me say you also this one, you are free using whatever brush you want for a painting like this. I was just showing my preferences or my choices for that one, but I really don't want you to completely depend on the things I'm showing you here. I want you to explore the MA brushes as far as you can and as you want. The best thing is to not be dogmatic and completely free and open for different ways of creating your art. And this is almost the end. We have come so quickly so far. I thank you for watching. Time for me to announce two beautiful MA products that will come out in the next weeks or days. Let's see. The one is the MA Texture Pack. This pack is announced for a long time on my website and I finally completed it. With this pack you will have amazing textures that will bring your painting to a very special level and they give a lot of character to it. And second, of course, the very big pack of the MA colors. We are talking about color palettes that will make your life as a digital artist so easy and they will be such a helping hand for you. And I can't wait them to be finished. You will benefit so much from it and happily those things will be soon ready. Stay connected to this channel and stay alert. Be here with me. My name is Michael. Thank you for watching and till the next time. Bye bye.